So many opportunities. A plethora. Oh, I gotta click back in. Sometimes I forget. Um, so, welcome to the stream. It's Starfield time. I'm gonna adjust the lighting. Should have done that earlier. <sighs> gotta set the mood lights and all. I'll just audio if I need to once we get back into their game. Uh, so Starfield here. We have the chance. I think we're going to finish up that uh, that one quest with the pirates. Where we're trying to get close to the pirates or whatever. We'll finish that up. We'll do some of the main quests. I kind of want to do some main quest stuff. Apparently 18 hours into the game so far. Level 12. Good stuff. What a chill song we were listening to right before this. What a chill, what a chill song. All right, mission update, Rook meets King. So I assume, yes, that's the, the, uh, we've done a lot of things. So I would assume this is, this quest is actually, seems to probably be wrapping up in a bit. Report to the Vigilance. I'm going to report to UC Commander Kibwe Kande on the Vigilance to celebrate, I think, our whatever. We did a whole thing. Now, we uh, we didn't actually kill Austin Rake. We uh, convinced them to just turn him in, I think. Uh, but once we finish that, we'll most likely pick one of those two main story missions to do. Uh, what is my current mass? Okay, that's fine. Have a, a skill point to hold on to. That's fine as well. Star map. I think I had probably just sold a bunch of stuff to clear up some space. Remember last stream when I tried to add cargo space and couldn't figure it out and just gave up? That's pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Let's see what's available research-wise. Maybe try to offload some of these random-ass resources I have on my thing, but at least put them to some kind of use, you know? You know what I mean? Outpost engineering rank one blocked, so I can't do these because I don't have outpost engineering. So that sucks, uh, but understandable. Ornamental decoration one. So basically, I got. I should be going through things. We've completed medical treatment. Of that. Ah, things needing ranks, and I'm a dumb character is the problem. And so that's the. Uh, I don't have any of those, so can't do any of that. Food and drink. Don't think I have cheese on me. Apparently. Oh, I can make beverage development. One. Discover how to prepare alien tonic, yellow giant splash, and boba alien tea at a cooking station. Don't mind if I do. I have so much water. You don't even know. Oh, that's just oh, the overflow or whatever. I don't really 100% understand the overflow thing. It's something like... Oh, you gotta... You just, I think it just happens randomly sometimes. I think. I think. Gastronomy rank 1 to do this. So can't do that. Unfortunate. 
Mixology. I have some spice. Alien liquor. I can make alien liquor. So it says research progress overflow will be distributed through other aspects of the process. Of the project, I mean. So I think it's just a luck thing. That's what it seems to me. In my opinion, it's just a luck thing. I'm going to turn audio down slightly. Decoration one. Structural. Fiber. So I think with these then, if the with the chance of the overflow, I should always pick ones that I have more material. So that it's like, oh. That makes sense. Robots. Go ahead and construct the garden mini bot, sanitation mini bot, and engineer. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I don't have any zero wire. That's unfortunate. So that's blocked. Block, 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 block. Can make this. Grip and stock mods research. Optic and laser mods. Material available, it says. Yes. Let's finish that. Let's go. Unfortunately, I'll have to spend skill points to become smarter to make better stuff. I want to go into like all of that but understandable Discover to construct security mini bot and turret MK2. I see. That's about all, as much as I can do there at the moment. I would assume that lightened up. Oh, I did the thing again where I press. Where I press accidentally picking up the shit parts. Uh, store, 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 store. I always do that. All right, let's get, let's go awkwardly celebrate with the people that I don't 100% actually, I'm not actually a part of their group. I'm only trying to infiltrate. How awkward. must get cozy with the enemies or if they're not even really my enemies because I, I've been roped into this unfairly I've been roped into this by I was I was captured for trying to I was just trying to innocently smuggle some goods that I was like oh you know it's a fun thing smuggle you know I'm not it wasn't like I was smuggling like like anything that bad you know what I mean Unintelligible chatter. I would have such a problem understanding people in space with the over little radio things. Board the vigilance. That's the board. Vigilance. So 
That's all the ships. Wait, why is the vigilance? To report to UC Commander. Oh! I've mistaken the whole thing. Okay, so at the end of the mission, I totally misunderstood. They were like, hey, come here and we'll party or something. And I thought, for some reason, I kept reading this, this report to UC Commander. And I kept reading that as like, oh, that's going to the party with the pirates or whatever. But it's, it's completely not. This is the UC Commander. I just completely kept reading it and kept glossing over the fact of what it was saying. So that's on me. But, uh, no, this is me, like, briefing. That's why, because then, so I'm, like, reaching the ship. And I'm, like, wait, why, it's, why is it a UC ship? And then I'm, like, oh. Oh, it all makes sense now. So this is me just going to be, like, turning in my mission and shit. I gotta follow this Commander guy. Conde wants to see you. Follow me. Great. Lieutenant Toth is as organized as they come. come. You can be sure yeah, she'll I'll keep our teeth crossed next time. Surely. Surely. You want me to go in there? First mission in the books, and no casualties. Do you have anything to report? We got the message from the Regana about Austin Rick. We had him dropped off at a separate port, off the books. Suffice to say, he's got a lot to answer for. Um. I risk my cover to do it, so you better appreciate it. I do. I know it's a delicate tightrope, and it doesn't go unnoticed that you're risking your own life to walk it. Oh, one more thing before we move on. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack Neva's ship. Oh. There was concern after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. Coming to her rescue ensured that would not be a problem. Hmm. Uh, Ecliptic doesn't have a Ecliptic doesn't have a problem with attacking the Crimson Fleet. They are mercenaries for hire. If they are paid enough money, Ecliptic would attack the Vigilance. It wasn't terribly difficult to convince them to attack an isolated Crimson Fleet ship. Just expensive. Hmm. That's a clever way to ensure Nevia's trust. Ah, so I take it you have good news. Were you able to join the fleet? Um, does seem like I passed their initial test. Then it worked. You're in. Sounds like everything is going as expected. <clears throat> now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on Searsha. your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. Um. Everything's going according to plan. Yes, you pass your first test and you're still alive. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects nothing, or she intends to make an example of you later. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals, so don't let your guard down. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. You should proceed with caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? There we go. Neva wanted to meet Europa again. I would lie. I could lie. Huh. Huh. I never wanted to meet Europa again. Strange. She 
must want to vet you some more. Still, it should only be a matter <laughs> of time before they invite you to the key. That's likely where you'll meet Delgado. Delgado is the leader of the Trying to keep fleet. some things hidden up my sleeves, maybe, in case. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. You certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. Heard the Regana made it to port with zero casualties. Things nice are progressing job. rather quickly. I'm sure the commander is pleased. Um. You mentioned the vigilance is upgrading its shielding? That's right. It's something we've requested a while ago in preparation for a future conflict with the fleet. Once we finalize everything and run a few tests, we'll have the defenses needed for a jump to the Crick system when the time comes. Do you like discussing your personal experience with the Crimson Fleet? Not really, no. Okay. I've learned to keep my personal experiences separate from the job. Uh, it's odd that I, you know more about me than I know about you. <laughs> That's a fine point, but in my defense, I was under orders to make sure we weren't pulling some kind of psycho into the mix. And honestly, there are far bigger things at stake than my personal feelings towards the Crimson Fleet. Let's just stick to the job at hand and concentrate on the mission. But, uh, maybe we can talk about it some other time, okay? Good luck on the key. Um, what was the other... Oh, so it didn't finish the mission, still got to travel to the key and everything. Bring back any evidence pertaining to Crimson Fleet related illegal activities. Okay. I was given. Yeah. Adler Kemp, 45. Personality hot headed, competent, seasoned. Adler is a Crimson Fleet ship captain operating out of Sidonia. His hot headed nature means Adler is easier provoked, which has gotten him into numerous scrapes. Scraps. Scrape? Scraps. Despite this flaw, Adler is a seasoned ship captain uh, and in most cases uses battle prowess to escape sticky situations. The Dunham has more information on Crimson Fleet. Uh, captains gather additional profiles to be added to Commander Conde's office terminal. Delgado. Clever, shrewd, careful, calculating. Originally hailing from Aquila City, Delgado fell into crime at a young age despite being born to wealth. Parents exiled him in hopes of correcting the behavior, yet this only started to increase his criminal behavior, culminating in the theft of a cargo ship, which he used to initiate himself into the Crimson Fleet. Delgado is a shrewd, clever leader who isn't prone to rash judgment. He keeps a tight rein on the Crimson Fleet. He's given his pirates enough latitude to do what they do best. And Neva. Short fuse, temperamental, intense, incendiary. He was born and raised in Neon and orphaned at a young age. She spent most of her youth getting arrested for crimes ranging from simple assault to grand larceny and was a frequent visitor at the Sistef prison. 22, she stowed away on a transport to Aquila City and was eventually recruited to the Crimson Fleet. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Well, let's, let's, uh, let's go to the key then. I won't keep them waiting. I'll finish this quest. Let's 
So where is this place? Cricks. Oh my god, it is far out there. Oh boy, I gotta go. Oh no. Oh no. I may have to make a couple jumps here. been here what is this place what do we got here the one to explore Why not? Why not? They all get to the key eventually here tonight. Let's see what this is. Occupied cave. Occupied cave. Scan that shit. The hell is this thing? Huh. Sweet foam wart. That's a sweet foam wart you got there. Didn't mean to do that. I was trying to butt a different button thing. Combo there, but uh Oh, right into the tox the I did the thing again where I went right into the toxin. I have a tendency of doing that. I just don't think about it, you know?
I just don't think about it. I'm just not much of a thinker, you know? Scan this shit. The hell is that in the corner of my eyes? Consider it scanned. Biome complete. Sure, that's a friendly fellow. Sure, nothing bad will happen. Where did the big thing that was walking around here go? Did he just run? See, like, 40 experience points for scanning stuff might not seem like a ton, but it probably quickly adds up when you, like, start visiting plans you've never seen before, and... Like, I could really... Do good, like, really help... Excuse me, really help myself out by, like... Doing this, you know? I need the skills so that I can do research and stuff, you know? Uranium bombs. And it's for no survivors. All right, let's go to the, actually make our way to the civilian outpost. There's a critter. Oh, this, here we go, hunting twist fin. That's what I wanted to see. Oh my God, he's, he's occupied. Yeah, I can see him. He's occupied. Something running at me. What the hell? Where is this one going? Why are they, they just make noises? I I respect an animal that just loves to make noises. Hell 
process. I always do that on accident. I did it again. Don't let him get away. Scan him. It's important we scan the little guys. This is your research. They're gonna make noises like they don't want to be scanned, but trust me, they want to be scanned. Ooh, this one's floating in the air. Look at that. Maybe run that? What are you doing? I think this one's broken. Just a guess. Oh, come on. You got it. Alright, so if it's a civilian outpost, surely it's not, like, gonna be pirates or something here. Bad people. Or people that would otherwise want to, uh, fire at me. Hello. You arrived at just the right time, stranger. Oh, did we I? We're worried about the gas rising from the vents nearby. We want to make sure it's safe. We have data collection sensors that need to be placed near those vents. Would you be able to help us with that? <sighs> no problem. I was going to just wander around aimlessly anyway. I know you're joking, but let's face it. You're far more suited for this than I am. Alright. I guess I'll go be putting some sensors. I can do this for a quest. Fuck it. I'll do a mission if, it, if the pay is good. Gonna go in. I'm proud of what we've built here. Not everyone wants to live in a flashy city. Now that I've lived here for a few years, I can't imagine going back. It's like weirdly dark in here. Alright. Nice to meet you. Nice we to meet you. See a lot of new faces. Nice to meet you. Just want to turn on some lights or something? Jesus. Make yourself at home. Nice to see a friend. My goodness. All right, seven sensors to place. Oh, did it turn in night as I was just like... <laughs> Are all the spots there? Two, three, four, five... 
Well, they're all in that direction with my compass, so... Making sure I don't do something stupid. Alright, gas sensor. Gas. 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 As long as I don't run into any animals that want to kill me, I guess. In the cloak of night, I go to place a sensor. Oh, fuck. It's... Uh, ah. I have to place it, but... It's gassy. Ugh. Oh, there's only seven sensors? Or five sensors? Why did it say seven earlier? Why did I think it said seven? Where, where did I come up with the number seven? All right, gonna be careful here. Gonna be careful here. Don't get too close. Don't have to go directly into the gas to place the sensor. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> oh, you walked into the gas again. Top or is they, are they in there? Why does this seem like the person's on top of this? It's probably a two layer thing, isn't it? There's probably stairs in there. Why am I being so silly? Yeah, there's stairs right here. Thanks for everything. Feel free to visit any time. Please take this. It's not much, but I hope it's enough to. 150 make XP, 2,000 money. Thanks again. Easily take it. Also, take can I take your? You, you have the place to yourself. Can I take these credits in here? By any chance? Do you, do you think? Would you guys mind? Robot friend? Producing suitable sustenance for your species requires a titanic effort. Where's that occupied cave? I'm gonna assume occupied cave means bad for me if I was to go to it, but I'm kind of makes me just even more tempted to go to it. Hippodon, I think the thing is called. Isn't that a Pokemon? 
Hit pout on. I think it's what the Pokemon is called. And go at it. Scan you. I'm scanning. Like a fiend. Oh! No way you actually want to fight me. No way. I will kill you so quick. You're a level one thing, alright? I will... I'm gonna scan you, though, if you don't mind. Oh, it's on. Oh, it's on. Oh, I got hit. Oh, there's another one, isn't there? I've summoned a second. Oh, I gotta reload. Oh! Fuck. Reload, I said! Take that shit. Oh, there's, an there's another one. Oh, it's a level 5 one. I'm about to bring in the bigger guns. The bigger guns. The bigger guns might be needed. Oh, it says I'm detected. Is that right, huh? It's for the scan. It's for the scan. It's for the scan. He's running away. He knows. Got your booty. Got your booty. I got it. I'm running away now. I got your booty. I scanned your booty. Dude, you don't want this. Oh, he's spitting shit at me. Oh! No, oh, man. Stop, stop, stop. I'm gonna try to loot. Take that. Occupied cave. I mean, occupied cave could just mean that it was occupied and there's shit in there to get. You know what I mean? Or may maybe it's occupied by those cute animals, you know? The Hippodon things that aren't violent.
You know, maybe it was, uh, I, maybe he just died of natural causes here, you know? Maybe it was all just some natural causes. More dead miners. Uh oh. Well, they don't need that. On account of them being dead. History of the Pirates? That's the hole I came out of, right? Or came in through, I mean. You gotta assume whatever killed the miners is still it's gonna be. In here. Maybe? It does go up there. Beast Hunter's Calibrated Space Trucker Spacesuit. Hmm. It does have some nice value on it, though. Was that 4,000 credits, did it say? Ooh, baby. I say worth. getting my med packs restocked and everything in this and a bunch of credits I'm gonna say massively worth 
massively worth the trip. This is what a space scoundrel wants. And no fighting involved? I don't have to do a fighting thing? Seemingly? not someone deeper in. Random research lab. Combat enhancer. Interesting. Uranium. Bombs. And is there no survivors? Did I circle back around here, or is this another area? Oh, the bourbon, yeah. Consider it explored. Consider yourself explored. Not sure what happened there. <laughs> to my ship. Say probably not as good, but like I said, can sell for a bit. So, good journey, good journey, good journey. I don't have a mission selected, that's right. Is 
So let's see if it's going to be... Sets to go to Cheyenne next. What's at this place, huh? Should I explore this as well? We just, that should be the rule of thumb. I'll pick my missions, and then when we have to jump from place to place, Every pit stop I make, I should, like, go and, and make a little, like, a little pit stop. This is free star collective space. Hold while we scan your ship. Yeah, yeah. I got nothing. And that's it. Enjoy that Aquila City air. Got nothing. Aquila City. Aquila City. Let's see what's at Aquila City, huh? Let's see what here. Hmm? Hello. Hello. Oh, hey. Uh, so, true to my word, definitely spent the last 24 hours. A good chunk. Not the whole 24 hours, obviously. But a good 24... Or not uh, A good amount of time. I researched... Uh, what was it? Lobotomy... Uh, lobotomy... Whatever the second word was. Uh, lobotomy... I know what I it's like on the tip of my tongue. Uh corporation. Yes, thank you. God, I can I kept wanting to say observation for some reason. Um so from what I understand and then gather what it makes sense from what you were saying earlier about it is that it's just it's apparently a, a pretty long very repetitive, oftentimes difficult management game basically but apparently is worth it for the story it has. Do I have the gist of it? And if so... Interesting. 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 I mean, the stuff I was, I was, I was trying to make sure on the off chance, you know, I do get around to it at some point. I didn't want to like spoil myself or anything. But they were saying the story was uh, amazing. All right, what is this Aquila City? What is this place? It's like a it's like a junk town. It's still under manufactured warranty. Yes. Can I get an invoice? Oh, what you need one of those for? Corporate policy. Is it okay if I just write it on a notepad? As long as it's written and signed, it could be on a loaf of bread. Needs Got another done? freighter that needs clearance on new homestead after this one. Corporate representative. Is there like a, a selling terminal here? Oh, it's right next to it. Nice. Nice. Sell it. And I think I picked up a helm as well. Nice. Making money. Making moves. Alright, let's just let's just stop in here and see what potentially of interest is here. This weird city. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. I don't it's care. Danger, so you may want to steer clear. 
Uh, I'll keep that in mind. If you think you might be able to help out, you could talk to the marshal. No. Truth is, last I heard, things weren't going so good. No, that's, that doesn't sound like a job gone wrong. This doesn't. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You must this is nothing we can't handle. Maybe we will. Like who? Not you. Not one of your rangers. And not these city guards, neither. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Go into the bar. Ah, oh, shit. Now. Um, I'm not here to cause trouble. Well, I'm a little busy right now, so if you don't mind, I need you to hang back. Uh, it's clear you're not getting the job done, so no, I don't want to do it. Will you at least hear me out? Fine. Talk fast. Ah. <laughs> there are lies at stake. It doesn't make okay. It's clear you're not getting. The... Oh, I can just exit. Yes, we're done here. Fuck him. Fuck you. Go to the bar. I think the gameplay loop of Lo uh, Lobotomy Corporation will probably click with you near the start. So I basically, I watched like a video that was explaining some of it and everything. That the humor of the video wasn't necessarily my cup of tea constantly. But it was basically saying how just like... It, it's a t it's the type of game that definitely isn't gonna resonate with a ton of people because of because it's a it's a hard sell basically wait can I go in the bar I mean the thing is immediately a game that says if someone tells me like oh the story is so good that it's worth going through kind of thing like that intrigues me that is immediately intriguing the type of thing where especially what the, the the tried and true classic oh it's a type of game that you're better off not knowing a ton going in kind of thing as far as story goes that's extremely my shit and that you immediately have my uh, my uh, my intrigue. Why can't I just take this? I'll say right up front, you're short on credit. I don't know why I was. Like, I can say this. I'm very interested in the idea of it. The hard parts of it, the hard sell to it, is just a straight-up, like, management e type game aren't exactly my jam. And if you tell me it's, su if, if it's, it's super potentially difficult and super long, those are the hard sells to it. Those are the, that's the hard part for me to be like, ah. Invest. Invest the time. Especially because a game like that. Again, I didn't get too far into it of explaining it because I didn't want to get too much about like apparently like there's there's spin-offs and everything. And so like I'm also the type that when I go into something, I want to usually like invest and go hard. And so then you're just, you're then, you then I, then it's just a spiral. Then I could just get into it and then I'd just be like, that would be it. That would be it. I don't like how I was, my mission, what is this job gone wrong? I don't want this free star collective. Fuck that. No, get this out of here. I don't want to do this mission. The world they built i love it so i gotta say then did you actually enjoy playing it though or was it a frustrating thing you just put up with um so that you could see the game and then how did you get did someone did someone similarly have to tell you like oh 
you gotta play it to try it. Or you just gotta get through it to do it. I did, in the video, I did learn how, like, it's a really small, like, dev team and stuff, and that, that just, that just does interest me on, like, a, a technical level. I actually think I enjoyed the game in retrospect. Interesting answer. Why are these people, why are the technic, are they? Why are all these technicians hanging around my ship? What are they doing? Get away from my- get away from my ship! Go away! You stopped it around two times? Dang! saw other people playing it and it, this is and also for like any video game for I've, I've talked about this before but like any video game my philosophy in these later years of mine is like where i'm very much i like to research a game and then commit to it if i start a game i am almost almost i'm almost always for sure going to try to see it to the end and so like then it's like okay Potentially, I'm going to get into a game that, just because of my brain, I'm going to want to try to see it to the end, and I'm potentially going to hate playing it, and it's going to be a long time, longer-ish time investment. It's kind of just like, it's, it's, a, it's a hard pickup for me. Because at this point, like, I don't want to, I it actually bothers me to, like, try to start something and then not seeing it to the end. So that's why I do so much research about games that I am going to play or end up streaming or something. Uh, people playing it, I was like, this looks like a great game. And the other times, I need to go back and finish it. <sighs> it's intriguing. It's it's very intriguing. The pitch... The pitch is intriguing. For sure. All right, so I think I can go. Yeah. Sagan. I think the last game I just straight up dropped after giving it a shot. Yeah, and I went in being like, oh, and I think it was because I was playing it for some October on stream a, a few years back or whatever. It was Resident Evil Zero, the HD remake of Zero. And I was like, oh, I will. Yeah, I was like, I've never been a big Resident Evil person, but I'm going to really give it my give it my all. And I played it like three or four streams. And I was like, I'm just... I just understand I'm not a I'm just not a fan of the survival horror mechanic mechanics in games like that. So like it's just not it's not my game, it's not my series, and I just felt bad just being like, you know what? I played <laughs> like several hours in, I was like, I'm just not that's just meh. Meh. And then before that, uh and this wasn't on stream, I was playing it I think before I was streaming early, it was um Transistor. Transistor, I went back to two or, or I went, I, I picked, I put it down and picked it up like two or three times. And for some, and I think, it, I don't think it was because it was a bad game. It just wasn't hooking with me and I wanted to really like it and try it and see it to the end. And I think I got pretty dang far. 
And then I, I think I just kept putting it down because I got distracted with other things. Which totally makes sense because it was before I was streaming. And part of why I stream is so that I would actually stick with games and not just give them up, like pick them up and give up on them. Uh, <laughs> and so Transistor, maybe someday I'll get back and actually play Transistor from beginning to end, but... I would like to. It was actually, yeah, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Sagan. Let's just see what this has got. This, does this, this plant this probably doesn't have much. But at least we can check it out before we head to the space pirate bar. such a fan of the low gravity. Plus ham helmet, what it, it offers no protection. A pure, a purely cosmetic <laughs> helmet <laughs> of some sort. I have a feeling this is gonna have bad people in it. gonna turn around if you don't mind <laughs> I, I I've had that thought too one too many times to get burned by it oh abandoned mine um, I'm sure it's abandoned and doesn't have people that are gonna fire me. Oh god, people are firing at me. That's basically how it works for me. Water? Give it to me, got it. All right, let's just go see what this thing is and then we can leave. Natural. I don't, st I still to this day don't 100% understand this game's, sometimes it allows you to scan things, sometimes it's annoying about the scan thing. It's probably a, a mechanic that has been explained to me and I just refuse to learn apparently. Something that just makes obvious sense. Oh, it's one of these things. I've seen these before. I don't remember what they're called. Weird spiky rock thing. Ice outcropping. Worth it. 20 XP, XP worth.
Oh, I went into the ta toxic gas again. That's on me. <laughs> That's on me. Oh, take me off. I'm gonna put my the stuff in my ship. Uh, store. Perfect. All right, let's go blend in naturally with the space pipes that I'm supposed to be getting cozy cozy with. Surely I won't stick out. Surely, I'm just like one of them. Alright, I'm one of you guys. Look at me. I'm definitely one of you guys. Definitely. Definitely one. The lock? What is the lock? The, the 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 pirates seem to uh we're off to a great start <laughs> someone just rudely is like what the fuck are you doing I thought it was just common courtesy even with spirit or with pirates you know to just let them uh, just let them know exactly passive aggressive much I'm scared. Big difference on 40% of 10 versus 30. You wanted 4K, you got 4K. Not my problem. Fight. You're stealing from me, you bet your ass it's your problem. Fight. Oh! <laughs> you kidding me? Way to make a mess in front of my new world. Hey, steal from me and get caught. Better off dead. Sounds like you did the fleet a favor. Now toss this body out of an airlock before it turns into a damn airlock. I just brush. stole the money he had before. The hell took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? Yes. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna act tough. I gotta act tough here. Uh job's done and I'm here, so back off. Fair enough. Glad to see you showing some backbone. Yes. Just yes. be careful that you can back up that attitude yes. before you square off it's with working. someone who can kick your ass. But all that aside, you made it. So now you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Pencils ready? Oh, Good. am I gonna be test? This tested? Floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the key. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. Um. Crimson Fleet took over an entire UC Star Station? Sure did. Right out from under their noses. Way before you or I were born, though. We've held this station for a very long time. 
Don't worry. Delgado will tell you all about it. Uh, place looks like a real dump. Oh, well, <laughs> I'll get right on that. A few plants, some throw pillows, and maybe this place will meet with your approval. Okay, sunshine? Um, so these are the baddies. This is the, the Crimson Fleet, which is like a named faction pirate group. Um, because I inadvertently, just out of curiosity, tried to smuggle something a while back. It, you know, I was like, oh, you know, I'll, uh, anyway, basically I'll I'm playing undercover right now. But it's better if I show you too. Follow me. Okay. She probably could kick my ass. All right. History time. So, the key is in orbit around So yeah, I'm Super playing double agent basically. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, Lock, key. Huh, cute, huh? Now, we've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nav. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction, you know. That thing I spend most of my day dealing with, believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. I like Jasmine. And you always, Angel. This here's Jasmine. You need anything for your ship? She's got you covered. We'll hit up the I just need my ship to be better. Have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, Neva. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Alutra. Anyway, welcome to the depot, Rook. Well, you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just whining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. <clears throat> Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Cripps had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. Hello. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Okay. Amps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Blueprints. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. <laughs> Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. If it's hard to right, find, you've got I Bradley probably got from it. the Trade Authority. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Misra. She'll patch you up, if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? Okay, this is our final stop. Over there? You've got the last Nova, where Bog serves watered-down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here, 
is the most important place on the entire station. The Reckoner's Core, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Wraith? It's been taken care of, all right? Oh yeah, I totally I killed him. Don't worry about it. And this rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, yeah, what is this he has in his chest? You set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes. This is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, what? I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. Uh... How is a bomb in your chest empowering? I see the bomb as a symbol of my importance. And it's a constant reminder to everyone of the sacrifice I was willing to make. He's going to die someday. The freedom is it he? Up, the pain. It's not something that just anyone has the resolve to bear. I'm not I would not be surprised if this this whole quest line I'm doing is like at some point I'm going to have the choice where I could stay cozy like with the and like basically defect to the pirates here or stay with my original mission. And, you know, be the traitor and, and you know, double cross the pirates here. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to be sold. I'm willing to be sold if the pirates seem good. <laughs> if they... Uh, that's the most clever security measure I've ever seen. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Oh, I was just talking about Since how I might... I oversee the bulk of exactly, triple agent. maintain all accounts for the fleet... I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, <laughs> the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. The possibilities of reverses are limitless. Uh... Bet you don't get out much. It's been over five years since I've stepped off the key. Leaving this place puts far too much at risk. Now, let me get you set up. <laughs> a moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications even Dugin would envy, I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run of the mill cyber runner. There, you're done. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. Uh, any other modifications I need to know about? None. Other than my chest and arm modifications? I am but a simple man. Is the interview over now? Can we get back to work? All right. That was easy. Getting into the system is a piece of cake. Getting out? Not so much. Anyway, I need you to listen up. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. What kind of jobs? Oh, you know, 
Smuggling, piracy, taking things that aren't yours. Nothing that should keep you up at night. Well, depending on your methods. Huh. Uh, just tell me we're officially done here. We're officially done here. No, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. All right, listen up. You can all stop complaining. Atrium to cargo bay doors have been repaired. Oh, and you're welcome, Nev. We'll have the whole set of ah, systems there are some other someday. Recruit. So, oh, look at this guy. It's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neighbors willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you. Which means <laughs> so you cool. Got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. After what Neva put me through, she better vouch for me. If dealing with the Ragana was at the limit of your capabilities, then you have a serious problem on your hands. You are already in too deep to quit. And I can promise you, it only gets more difficult from here. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. Oh, I'm sure. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. Oh, it's like a cult. Uh, this third and this third response is so dorky. Uh, why would a pirate organization have so many rules? Of course, we have rules. If you think the Crimson Fleet was built on a lawless dream, think again. Our influence, our money, our respect comes from meticulous planning, and every last soul in the fleet following my orders to the letter. That is why you need to learn to place the fleet before everything. I don't like taking orders. None of us like to follow orders. That is why we all ended up Really here. pushing my luck here. You don't have to like it, Brooke. You have to just shut up and do it. Follow? If I were you, I would listen carefully to Neva's advice. She is... Handled those that could not follow orders on more than one occasion. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. This is my competition? I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Subaraw for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead rooks. You think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story? Crix's legacy is no story, Ava. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Uh, what's this code Nava is talking about? Through a bit of luck and a hell of a lot of cash, Nava was able to get her hands on an access code to the inside of the lock. This will be the first time someone from the Grinson fleet has set foot in there for, well, since Crix left the place behind. It has been frustrating being this close to potential clues, but not being able to find a way through those prison walls. So you take every new pirate on these initiations? Of course. 
Where else could I find such a perfect location to weed out any rooks who'd be wasting the fleet's time? How many tests and initiations do I have to go through? What? Were you expecting a goddamn graduation ceremony? Yes. Think I'm just going to slap a skull on you and send you on your way? Make no mistake. You are being tested all the time. Every job you take will be under constant scrutiny. And neighbor? Oh, she's just waiting for you to screw things up. Maybe you should tell me more about Crix's legacy. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Suvorov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. <laughs> Cricks left a lot of big talk on that recording. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. Uh. What if Nave is right? Crix's legacy isn't real. Listen to the words that I am saying. The legacy is real. You will find that out in due time. Provided you're willing to put in the work. Nothing worth having ever comes easy. Let's just get on with it. Sounds like someone wants to get down to business. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. That guy doesn't have a ship? This guy doesn't have a ship? What a lame head. I'll say it. I'll say it. What kind of, what kind of, what kind of, like, uh, what kind of space person at the, that just doesn't have a ship? I would assume... Having a ship is just a thing you should have. This is so unappetizing. Like, I should automatically be, like, le leagues ahead of that, that, that man. Just because he doesn't have a ship. He has to get a ride. He has to get a ride to there. He's a bum. F official bum status. All right, we're gonna put this on this mission on hold. I'm gonna go, um, and we're gonna do we're gonna do a main quest. Let's see, which of these two do I want? Sarah's asked me to go to the Eye Star Station that Constellation owns in Orbit Jemson. I need to meet with Vladimir Saul, finding more artifacts in the fringes of space, or wants me to join an expedition headed up by Sam Co. Another Constellation member will be going to Free Star Collective Space. Let's do into the unknown. In Alpha Centauri. It's in Jemison. Okay, I try jumping. I gotta jump to here first. Cause my ship, it's too dinky. One of these days, I'll get a better ship. I am so close to leveling up again. There we go. How do 
Nein. Yeah, yeah. And complete. Enjoy your stay in New Atlantis. So I, is that where I'm supposed to the eye? Is it, is Vladimir on the eye? Is that what it's the game is telling me? I'm getting there. Vladimir. Got to find some more artifacts. This would actually terrify me. This is the equivalent of like, you know, like those like glass, like bottomed, like just platforms that you can like see through and just see like, you could just like drop if it just like broke or something. This would be the equivalent. If I was transported into this, this future time, whatever it is, and it's just like, you just place me here. I'd be like, oh, that's like certain death just out there. I I don't uh oh, oh the underwater thing too yeah there's just yeah uh, I'm not even that necessarily afraid of like heights or anything it's just like those things just scares that type of shit just uh, one just one I think I was talking it, it was like in this game I was talking about it just like because we went into like a really cramped cave I was talking about like those videos of people that go like spelunking in those really tight and wet caves where there's like no space to like move and like if just like one if just like one seismic shift happened you're dead and it's just like i that thought of just like all it takes is one small thing to happen and you're dead that bugs me i hate it i hate it couldn't be me Call me a scaredy cat. I don't care. Vladimir. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Uh. Good to meet you, Vladimir. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Um, <laughs> more part. Uh, that happens to me too. I get lost in something and lose time. Always preferred working alone, even around people I like. But we're all working together on this one. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the sea of light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. You're asking me to chase ghosts? There could be nothing. Wouldn't be tipping your ear if I thought it was a waste of time. Giving you the best of what's available. 
No more. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. <laughs> I am old. Uh... Who's Andresia? Another rook in Constellation who's making a name for herself. Likes to be on her own. I can relate, so I try to look out for her more than most. Alright, I'll keep an eye out for her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Um. So you retired from the Crimson, Fle Crimson Fleet? Can't speak. Uh, didn't know what ha uh, that happened. Usually it doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tail to tip your ear on. But if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? Is it his house? Huh. Interesting. Okay, so we just basically have leads, I think, to go find. Could hold artifacts. They also asked me to be on the lookout for Andrea. Another constellation member is following up on the same leads and hasn't reported back. Fair enough. Let's go find some artifacts. Where? Oh, where? What is this out here? Tau Seti. Valo. Narium? Deserted robotics place? Got it. Why was it being weird about me selecting this? Weird. Strange. Strange, I say. Is it raining? It's definitely raining. C 
corrosive liquid. Oh god, it's like it's like acid rain. What the hell? Uh, corrosive rain, hazardous weather. Seek shelter immediately. Warning: suit protection depleted. At risk for afflictions. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Uh, fuck. Uh, shit. Hopefully there's no one here. Get me in. It's it's raining. I need I need a an acid rain umbrella. Are you a bad person? Oh, this is a pirate. As long as the credits keep rolling in, life's good. Wait, do they not care because I'm now part of the fleet? Does the UC really think system scares us? Am I cool with the pirates now? Or just this one not care? Are you just a strange person? Hmm. Be just cool with all pirates potentially. Strange. But I guess that would sort of make sense. If they were like. Part of the same faction. Maybe they're just so intimidated by me. Yeah, I can't tell if they're supposed to be aggressive or I've just got I've now lucked out. Like normally I'd be always looking for the next mark. Just dominating all these people. Cereal. Gross. Wait, it's just gonna be here? The artifact? Look at this. We just have an artifact it just in a hole? What are these people doing? Back here. I was like walking through this stuff. Oh. Uh.
Did I not break it all up yet? Or does it want me to sh straight up shoot it? <laughs> gun, 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 gun. Got it. Can't believe this is just chilling back here. People just don't care. Do they just not know? should be collecting this as well. Come on, break. Unless I already technically harvest that par harvested that part. I'm just being an idiot. Laser. Nothing happening. Oh, what the hell is this is what was making sounds. Anti-personnel assassins calibrated solstice. Short barrel, holographic sight, stealth lasers, tactical grip, ignition beams. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Thanks for that. What's the next? Buy for 10% less and sell for 15% more. Really try to start making more money. Uh... Very tempting. Very tempting. Boost packs. What was the carrying capacity one? Yeah. I'm doing that.
An abandoned mine, you say? How abandoned are we talking about? I gotta say, I don't think these people are really trying hard to find the artifacts. That took like five minutes. I just had to walk in and just grab that artifact. These people aren't trying hard enough. They're just expecting me to do everything. Crazy. Oh, I should have deposited. That's fine, I got carrying capacity. I don't see the mines on the ground at all. I'm like, oh fuck, every time I step, I hear the noise. I'm like, uh, gonna quickly get up. I saw that one as I walked toward it. That's on me. have to be a three and a two. And this will either go that and that. And then this will go something like that and that. Bam. Nice. A book? I'll take the money. I'll, uh, I'm sure that book is great. Permanently increases tool grip. Tool grip weapon damage by 2%. Tool grip. Tool grip. I'm too afraid to ask. I mean, I won't. I won't uh, poo poo uh, a permanent stat increase. Wait up, my Andre and Andresia is in there? Is that her last known whereabouts? Oh fuck. Oh, I walked right into the fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. 
Didn't know that would be a, th a thing. <laughs> I walk. <laughs> Ow, I'm burning my legs. Random animals out there. The want to scan is high. Me, a professional scanner. See, this place is truly abandoned. This isn't like fake abandoned where there's a bunch of pirates that are going to start shooting at me the moment I come in here. Ah, oh, football. Of course. Must see what's at top of tower. Tissues. A chair. I could just sit in a chair if I wanted. I'm gonna not I'm gonna choose not to pull the alarm. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna not do that. Oh oh that scared the shit out of me. Don't come any closer. Oh identify yourself. Uh I'm with Constellation. Vladimir Cell sent me to find you. Ah. Oh. Good. I suppose I should have guessed. Jesus. It has been too long since I checked in. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Um. I'm just doing what I was asked. Dutifully following orders. I should not be frustrated with you. It is good that you have their trust. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. Okay. So you just killed a bunch of people. Huh? So just, uh... Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. I agree. Robot friend. Oh. I am programmed to prioritize the completion of my tasks over the safety of nearby humans. Good to know. Go get him then, robot. And once again, we are triumphant. Oh, he, my robot friend's going in. He's going in deep.
I gotta get closer. I'm a pistol person. Ooh, got him. Show your head. Uh, uh. Got him. Bam. Straight shooter, man. Bad people, bad jokes, three. Dare I read more jokes? Wait, did, is this the one I... I think this is the one I already... I've already read. Damn, I should have read the, the one. Uh, the bad jokes one that I saw. Uh, drop, please. I don't want that. Get that out of my face. I just sound like a creature's breathing on me. What is that? Don't worry about it. We are not alone. Fuck. Do we still have a robot friend? Did he come with us still? I don't think so. I think he's gone. Closer. Ah. Ooh, from behind. Didn't even see me coming. Oh, they're so. Oh, I need. Something a little more long range for this. Oh, I'm being I'm having grenades thrown at me. Ah oh, fuck. How do I get down there? Here we go. Oh, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in deep. Like first, let me loot. I'm I'm the I'm the terrible type of person that wants to like loot the bodies as soon as I kill them, or else I'll be fr I'm afraid I'm gonna like not um get it.
Damn. She's in my way. You're in my way. She got hit hard there, I think, by that. I realized I took some hits there. I gotta let the med pack actually work. Oh, I took some hits. I took some bad hits, took some damage. That was close. Almost died. Where'd they go? Where are you? They're hiding. Where's she firing? Oh, here we go. Jumping. Whoa. Well, there goes the body. Whatever he may have had on him is gone. energy resistance, physical resistance to lower your health. Huh. I mean, its stats aren't great paired right up next to it, but if your health gets lower, I think then it starts out, like, being outperforming. Energy resistance and physical resistance. As your health gets lower... Uh, plus 100 energy resistance. I'm going to try it out. lower your health so it might be like a percentage thing like if i'm at 50 percent health then it's just proportional so it'll be plus 50 maybe maybe wishful thinking on my end unsure there's clearly two people still alive according to the compass there oh they're below Idiots. Who do you think you are? I am. I really like this, this pistol that I have. Found it. We found it. I 
refuses to break. There we go. Let's get the artifact out. Did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Uh, why are you so close? Theory and experience were correct. Uh, the artifact grants the first person who touches jump scare. Why <laughs> back up? <laughs> Jesus, it scared the shit out of me. Why are you back? Back. Uh. 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 Yes. Not that I've been able to make any sense of them. The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. Um. It was either you or him, right? It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Uh, I've done all sorts of things. You prefer answers that do not require you to commit to a position. Back up! I find this You're We're not this close. I have also seen a great many things in my time. Some quite dangerous. We both seem to be unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the, the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? I mean, I'm not a snitch, you know? Like, it's not my business. <laughs> like, saying like, oh, now I feel like I need to say something is such snitch-like behavior. Varun Zealots? You are unfamiliar. This is a surprise. Few have not heard of them. They are fanatics, having taken the teachings of House Varun and twisted them into a belief that the galaxy must be wiped clean before the Great Serpent's return. So, in this I would say I have done the galaxy a favor. There you go. Mum's the word. Mum. This means we are in agreement. Mum. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. 
Also, can I just, I like your, your weird outfit thing. How much carrying capacity do I have? Oh, I can still. Mining time. Going back to my roots. Oh yeah, I can't fast travel, I forgot. When you're in like a thing like this, you can't just... You can't just wish that you could go back to your ship. Shrimp. Fresh shrimp. I feel like I should make a heavy weapon a favorite. Um, I can sort damage? No. Value? No. Weight? No. Type. I'd assume then it's like... I actually don't know what type means. <laughs> it's like, uh... Who can say? I gotta climb these weird, awkward stairs. This place is awkward. Deep into a cave is so inconvenient. Did I just go into a dead end? Thinking I was gonna... <laughs> Take me out. Oh. oh, I think I'm supposed to, yeah. I remember. Jump. Don't fuck up the jump.
navigating a, a cave system is not my strong suit, clearly. That's where I let the little robot go. I let that little robot go. He's probably dead now. But it's fine. Add the artifacts to the collection. And that's probably where we'll end for the night. We'll go turn those in. Actually, I could do this again a lot quicker. I always forget just how quick you can make like traveling back and forth from a thing. If you really want to. I don't want that fucking the moon. I want this. To the lodge. That I would not contribute to the mission? No. Are there drama? Not. We thought you might be hurt. Drama Wednesday? Oh. I then thank you, but it hey, was not necessary. We succeeded. Can't be easy being in charge of all this. Perhaps expressing actual honest concerns. I'm sure. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? <laughs> yeah, let me be a dick and say I've got three compared to your zero. Uh, which leads were you following? A couple of scans from the eye, but it looks like you got there first. They were literally Someone just out in the open, man. <sighs> Got you beat. Three artifacts to your zero. I wasn't aware we were competing, but you and your on. dumb hat. Oh no! Don't you two start. We're supposed to be working together, not competing. What's wrong with a little rivalry here and there? I think it pushes us to be at our best, or causes nothing but arguments. Arguments which then breed distrust. Noel is right, Mateo. Well, I suppose there was that one time. Elliot started it. Mm, what do you think? A little competition can't be that bad, can it? Why didn't he look at me when he said that? <laughs> uh, I guess it's a double-edged sword. Pros and cons. I feel the same, strangely enough. The inherent contradiction of human nature has once again laughed in my face. I hate Mateo. I hate him so much. Laughing at your face if this conversation keeps going, Mateo. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. And for yours, I'm happy to keep traveling with you. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Roger that, Vladimir. She's on her way. Oh, well, I want her on my crew, but I don't actually want her... Uh...
I don't need her actually. Uh, let's see. She's got four stealth, particle beams, energy weapon systems, and theft. Huh. You know what? She can travel with me for a bit. That's fine. She's cool. Feel free to help yourself at the bar. She seems a lot cooler than... I gotta go talk to Vladimir? Alright, well... I'll get... I don't drink, but I feel like if I did... Captain, I believe your ship will perform more efficiently if you bring me on board. Vasco, you really want to be on my ship? Hey, Barrett. Well, I suppose that station in orbit the, is more um... I'll assign Vasco to my ship. You can be on the dang ship if you so desire. There you go. There you go, Vasco. William weapon systems robotics okay and i'm also i'll put barrett on the ship as well all right so we we're i immediately i'm cha not changing my stance really but it seems dramatic i'm bringing andresia as an active companion uh for the moment i'll deposit her at some point but i'll put uh i think putting barrett and vasco on the uh on the ship will be uh, a bit of use do it. We'll do it. Hey, the artifacts. Have you seen the, um, the, 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 the thing? You're gonna have to give me a little bit more to go on, pal. Which thing are you looking for? You know, the, the thing. The one with the, um, the prongs. Is, is that what they are? The bit that sort of sticks out with the, you know. I hate you, Mateo. You have no idea what you're looking for. No, I do not. All right. I will find and bring you an array of devices that may or may not serve your purpose. Sound good? Anything I can help you with, Captain? Nah, you're good. See you on my ship, Barrett. Only cool people are allowed to travel with me. Anyone who meets, meets the cool. That's why Sarah, she's she's relegated to stay here. She has to stay oh, here. pardon me. <laughs> Was that your stomach or mine? Captain Sage. Bear is it cool is enough. You, you guys go to the ship. Go to the ship. Go to the ship. Speaking of ship. Um... Oh, am I parked at the Mass District? Did I not park where I'd normally park? I guess not, because I just fast-traveled to... Where's my ship? Well, now it's saying to go here. I just want to know where my where my ship is. Okay, so the ship was at the normal place. Why? Why? Why was it saying? Always a satisfying moment hey, to return to you your might ship. want this. I might want what? Hey, so I want to try something out. You got a second? Oh, they don't get along okay. apparently. I'm going to teach you how to dance. Take my hand. What is the purpose of this activity? Yeah, everybody loves this stuff. <laughs> I can fly. I'll check back with you later, if you want. Hmm? Do you need something? Where's Vasco? Hmm? 
Where's my robot friend? Also, I might as well sell the... Oh, there he is. He's slowly making his way. <laughs> Greetings, Captain. Get on the ship, Vasco. So, I was going to sell uh, that and that. Am I committing to this one? I guess I am. Pirate swashbuckler gear. Pirate swap. Was I give one or was I given this? Maybe when I became a pirate, possibly. I don't want it. I don't want it, though. Get it out of my face. Radioactive combat knife. Randomly deals radioactive damage and demoralizes the target. What can I do for you? You can't do anything for me. Where is the corner suppressed? Yeah, those things there. That's fine. That is all good. Um, I'm gonna need to clean up my weapons. All these, I probably don't need to be carrying all these different weapons, but I mean. Disassembler coachman? What's the other coachman I have? It's uh. It's this one, the Furious one. Which of these do I like more? 20% damage against robots. Each consecutive hit deals more damage. One of them needs to go. Uh, Basically, it comes down to the, the they're the same except for the effect. So 20% against robots or each consecutive hit deals more damage. I'm going to say I like each consecutive hit dealing more damage. So this one, I'll get rid of and sell. Ah, she's getting in my way. This is what I don't like when my companions get in my way. Uh, there we go. Cornered Equinox. Anti-personnel. Ripshank. I can probably get rid of this because I have this thing. Against humans. Yeah, it's better. It's, it's just... Sell that. Okay, we're getting cleaner. We're cleaning it up. We're cleaning. It's cleaning. Equinox. Frenzy Equinox. I use this. Damage increases as health decreases. I'll sell that, because I've got... This thing I just re recently picked up, so... It does look interesting. Well, I don't need to get rid of everything. We'll hold on to it.
I forgot what I was. What was I? So, I was supposed to do something with the metal supplies, right? Uh, I was given this to. I think I was given it as like a thing. I think it was part of the mission, but I think the mission's over, and so I was like just given it. Something like that. <laughs> uh, something like that. Vasco, are you getting on the ship or not? Huh? Get on. You run it. You wanted to be on my ship so bad. You kept pestering me. Get on. What's new? Better have gotten on. If I if if I, if I go up into space and I don't see Vasco, hell to pay. Red apogee, surrounded by stars and the vastness of space. Also, Barrett loves to talk. I don't like how creaky my ship sounds. That might just be a normal thing, but it always, I move it around and it's like creaker. <laughs> my ship's too creaky for my liking. All right, we'll go ahead and save there. Uh, save over the exit, save there. Perfect, uh, call it a stream. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, no streams tomorrow. Friday, I think. We're looking to finish Cuphead DLC. Fingers crossed. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out the puzzle. Do that final that boss, the boss that I just gave I had to give up on the other night. Unfortunate. We'll do that. If uh, if it ends super shortly, I've got something we can pivot to. And it won't be like more Starfield or anything. So we'll see. Um, again, thanks for watching. Have a great uh, rest of your night. Have a great Thursday. Have a great Friday. Finish the week strong. Do well, be good. And I'll see you in another stream.